Hello everyone, S here from Raptors Republic and it is the final game that means absolutely nothing for the Toronto Raptors before they start their seeding games on Saturday. Today the task at hand is going to be Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. With that being said, here are three key points to look out for come game time. Point number one, should I sit or should I go? This is the final day of scrimmages for everybody. If you're either of these teams, you don't want to risk any injury, or if you're the Raptors, re-injury, before eight crucial seeding games. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of DNPs today. Not to mention the fact that the Raptors are dealing with minor injuries already. Patrick McCaw has missed the first two scrimmages due to a lingering foot issue, and Fred Van Vliet banged his knee against the Blazers on Sunday and was pulled for the rest of the game. Now, Nick Nurse said that the injury wasn't serious and that he was only pulled from the game because of precautionary reasons, but do you really think that two days after he's going to put him into a meaningless scrimmage? Point number two, minutes up for grabs. For the most part, the Raptors rotation is all but set. You can bank on Marc Gasol, Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, Fred Van Vliet, Kyle Lowry, Norman Powell, Serge Ibaka, and one of either Terrence Davis or Patrick McCaw grabbing the bulk of the minutes for the Raptors for their seeding and playoff games. But other Raptors have shown flashes too. Matt Thomas has been shooting the lights out in both scrimmages, and we've seen an offensively aggressive side to him that we hadn't seen yet. Rondé Hollis Jefferson has always seemed to come up big during the regular season on both the offensive boards, and he has shown his versatility defensively. Chris Boucher has also shown flashes of being active on the defensive end. So for the game today, keep your eye out on those guys because they will be fighting for minutes. Point number three, Point G and an OB. It's a lame nickname. I know. But the sentiment remains. OG against the Blazers was a pleasant surprise. He had a tight handle on the ball. He showed off his skills as an improved facilitator. And all signs point to maybe, maybe a breakout playoff series or two. But at this point, we just want to see more. Regardless, the last time these two faced off, Pascal Siakam exploded for a billion three-pointers, and the Raptors handled the Suns easily. So I wouldn't worry too much about the undefeated scrimmage streak ending anytime soon, but regardless, those are your three key points. Enjoy the game.